back at it again today. The plan is to try to build as much of this kitchen as we can. First things first though, I'm gonna need to take a Home Depot detour here. I don't have nearly enough plywood to actually build this kitchen. So I'm gonna go get a couple sheets of plywood, pick a few other things up and then try to get this done today. Miss driving this van. I feel like these days I have to make excuses in order to get behind the wheel here. It's not very common. Only basically when I have to go to Home Depot to get like really big things. Looking forward to getting this thing on the road and being able to drive it every day. Moving right along here, all of the main pieces are cut now for the cabinet and it's just a matter of cross doweling it all together. That will probably take a little while, the cross dowel process is a little bit tedious, I know I've mentioned that in previous videos, but I do believe that the end result is definitely worth it. So I'm going to get started on that, then I'm probably going to cut the drawers out and everything and then we're going to probably put the oven in here. We already headed in for a second to kind of see how it fits and looks like it's going to fit pretty well. Pretty nice having lights in here now. Of course, I guess the uh, the problem with that, the dilemma, is that then I can find myself in here working way later than I was able to work before having the lights. So uh, probably going to be out here for at least another hour or so, just touching everything up. I do have a couple more cross dowels to put in, and then I'm going to try to get the oven in and see how it fits. I've got a coffee here though. I've got my LED lights, only half of them. The other half we'll probably actually put up tomorrow. I think they're coming in the mail. Also, I'm just rambling here now, but these skylights, now that we have the old curtains out, I think I mentioned this in last week's video, but it's amazing. Like, when the lights are off, I have this perfect view of Orion. Like, I can actually see the constellation Orion through the skylights. I cannot wait to get this out to some darker skies and spend some more time under the stars. By the way guys, we got this oven through a company called RecPro. They are essentially a retailer of RV appliances and RV materials, uh, particularly for like restoring older RVs. And we were just searching on the internet looking for oven options and we kind of came across this and felt like it was better than a lot of the other options that were out there. It's a solid unit, you know, it feels really, really good. It looks good, you know, it looks like it actually kind of belongs in a kitchen setup and it's really compact and tiny. They actually make one that's a little bit smaller than this as well in hindsight we didn't even realize it at the time but rec pro has a lot of really awesome appliances like this between ovens and refrigerators and i mean everything you can imagine ac units everything for rvs it's a really cool uh, website really cool resource and actually i do have a promo code that you can use if you check them out if you use the promo code element and follow the link in the description below you can get five percent off anything in their store so if you are working on a van build or planning to start a van build or maybe trying to restore your RV, work on your RV. They have a lot of really cool options to consider for uh, 
you know, for replacing older parts or, you know, putting something new, starting from scratch. So pretty happy with, with this overall. I can't wait to test it out and actually make a meal in it. It's been a very long day here again. It's like after 10 o'clock now. I think I've been out here since like eight o'clock this morning. So I really haven't stopped at this point, but the kitchen is, I don't want to say it's done, obviously. We're gonna sand everything down, you know, put some trim on it, obviously painted and everything. There's a lot left to do, but the foundation is definitely there. This obviously is the oven area. It fits extremely snug. It's very, very close, but it does fit pretty nicely. And then I have a big drawer right here. We also did toe kicks. Shannon really wanted toe kicks. It's a lot more comfortable to cook when you have toe kicks. And then we didn't want to waste the space. So I really actually just kind of wanted to try this too. We did a little mini toe kick drawer here. And that's what I spent most of the evening working on. It is a tight space. It was not easy, but kind of cool now that it's done. It's like a little secret compartment there. And the goal for tomorrow is to kind of move on from the kitchen area and start working my way back you know the platform bed is going to be this entire area here and then a section of that i know i mentioned this before is going to be a bench seat so tomorrow i'm probably going to work on that bench area the fridge is going to slide nicely underneath that bench so i'm going to have to make a gap for the fridge and lay my c channel start cutting plywood and basically doing the whole thing over again just with the middle section of the van and who knows maybe by the end of the week i'll be finishing up the platform bed and kind of working my way back there Definitely making some good timing, but I also need to get some rest. I am absolutely exhausted. My head's like kind of spinning right now as I'm just trying to picture exactly where we're going to put all of the storage compartments underneath the bed. Like I've got my guitar case in here, obviously the fridge. We have the surfboard in here the other day. Like. Just trying to have, you know, a mindful storage layout under here so that everything kind of has a home and a place to go. Do the best that we can. So I'm laying some C channel. I made this really, really bad sketch that doesn't even make any sense at all, but <laughs> just like trying to picture it here. And I'm gonna start with the lower part first. So, you know, one of the benefits of the cross style method, another one is that you can kind of just build your way up and work your way up here. So Theoretically, like I can make the platform bed, but at a lower level, only to 20 inches, basically just above the fridge and let it go all the way to where I need it to. And then from there, I can build up the rest of it. It's a little bit complicated. It's been kind of tough to envision, but I'm excited to get started and just start building stuff. You know, the sooner that I start actually kind of going with it, I'll have a better idea of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> You guys like my table saw setup? It's extremely high quality. It's amazing how cutting a couple of pieces of plywood can suddenly make this thing really feel like it's starting to come along. It's not gonna look anything like this, but it definitely gives you a feel for the amount of space that we're working with. This area is going to be our open floor space that I'm sitting in, and then you can kind of imagine what the bed's gonna look like as we move towards the back. Are you moving in? Yeah, here's my bed. You're a little short. I'm a little short. You should come sit. It is, it is a little high, but I mean, there's really nothing that we can do about it. The fridge has to go under here. It is to the exact height of the fridge, so. Just make the most of it. Maybe we can put a little stool or something underneath for our feet if 
they get tired from dangling like this, but it is what I it think is. It's fine. I think it's alright. Part of the reason why I've been working such long days these past few days is because the weather has been absolutely perfect. It's been like 72 degrees and sunny every single day, like not too hot, not too cold. It's about to start getting really hot though. I think this afternoon it's going to be pretty bad. So I'm just trying to get this done while we have perfect weather like this because eventually in a couple of weeks it's going to be too hot to function inside this van. I know I mentioned this before, but there are a couple of spots in here where there's like metal from the old camper conversion and it's actually welded into the like into the walls. This is like tack welded in here. So like we thought about maybe trying to cut them out and we did cut out a small piece up front, but it's kind of a pain and I'm thinking like we could actually use this to our advantage. Like right underneath this little section, I'm sure you can see it is a little wobbly right here and I don't have any support. So I was thinking maybe putting a support there but instead I'm realizing I could probably just attach brackets to this welded in metal here and use it to not only secure it to the floor, but also to the walls of the van. It would kind of add extra security so this thing would literally never move while also acting as a support for the bed platform. Perfect. I'm going to my little home here. Okay, this is going to be comfortable. Ow. Oh. You going to sleep under there? It's perfect. It's perfect size for me. Once I finish cross doweling the support area for the bed and then obviously get the extension piece built and finish the garage area, uh, that's pretty much the bones of the build like there's really not going to be a whole lot else after that point at least uh, you know in terms of cutting and like cross outling and that whole thing it's pretty much set it'll be a lot of little things after that so we got to do the plumbing obviously we got to get the sink installed we already have it cut and everything but we just have to uh you know get the water set up the water tank is going to be in the back it's like we measured it <laughs> almost measured it that's where the water comes out. And there's a venting mode and a not venting mode. Nice. How cute is that? That's pretty neat. And then we're gonna run a pump and have to pump the water to the front area. One thing that I am pretty excited about though, we're gonna have like a little faucet. It's like a tiny RV faucet and it has a hose. So we're gonna be able to run the hose and it's gonna be extend pretty far. We're gonna actually be able to use these sliding windows here to open up and run the hose outside, which will actually allow us to be able to shower outside. So that should be pretty cool. We're also gonna use this under sink area for propane. And then we're gonna have a couple of trash bins and I am gonna put a flush mounted door on here, actually pretty similar to what the oven does here. It'll open up like that uh, to pull down so that we can access this area and do what we need to do in there. We're also going to likely put a door up here and build this into a big storage area so that it's nice and protected so things don't go flying out and flying in because we do want to use this space. This is a ton of space up here. Good for you. It's perfect. It's like the perfect height. Yeah, it's perfect. Better not grow two more inches. <laughs> Inch and a half. Inch and a half. That's perfect though. I mean, who sits up like this in bed? You know, you, you slouch a little bit, you're gonna rest, you know, we're gonna be... Leaning on the wall. Leaning on the wall, which is actually perfect also. Perfect height, yeah. Yeah, we'll just get a little pillow and be able to hang out up here. Yeah.
excited. It's been a busy week. It's now Friday. And that means that it's time for the weekend, and what's good about the weekends is that Shannon can actually spend the entire day on Saturday and Sunday helping. During the week, she's working a regular job, so it's kind of tough. She helps out when she can, but, you know, she's kind of trying to live two lives kind of thing. And it's been a very crazy week. Like I said, we do have to screw a little bit in, you know, finish up with everything, but this is the platform bed. This is about the same height as our mattress, guys. Like, we're going to have just enough space to be able to sit up comfortably. Somehow we managed to... Uh, measure it perfectly without actually seeing it so there's a lot left to do like i said earlier a lot of little things a lot of little projects it's going to be a very busy weekend but starting to come together that's all going to be part of the next couple of videos though guys thanks for watching we'll talk to you all in the next one